I am here to share good news. The 21st century will be the Indo-American century, and President Trump will be the first president to move this relationship forward. The U.S. is India's second biggest trading partner. India, however, is America's ninth largest trading partner. Both countries can do better. India needs at least $10 billion of liquefied natural gas per year, $10 billion of advanced defense equipment per year, and billions of dollars of high-tech machinery and products. The U.S. is a leading producer of these and many other highly demanded items in India. Rather than Russia or China, democratic America must be the go-to market. At the same time, U.S. would want to develop India as a second source to China, encouraging Make in India initiative in a big way, particularly in the area of electronic goods. From my discussions with President Trump, I have concluded that trade between the U.S. and India can more than triple by the end of his first term in 2020, growing from $100 billion a year to at least $300 billion per year. This will create at least a million new jobs in the U.S. and at least 7 million new jobs in India. And Trump, unlike previous presidents, would have innovative leaders with new ideas and proven business skills, particularly in engineering and manufacturing, like Rex Tillerson, our new Secretary of State. Wouldn't you like the fact that the, for the first time we have a Secretary of State who is a businessman and not a career diplomat? This makes uh, America, made in America and make in India, dance together like you have never seen before. 